You said schools and universities will still be open, so yeah. I mean, from that, I would guess colleges are still open. Whether that actually lasts, yeah, because it seems a little bit sort of like, well, oh, this is one of the driving factors of the increase in the RA. Yeah, students going back to school and everyone going back to university. Maybe we should do something about that if we can, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the problem. If you don't, you, either you do it or you don't. But even now, it, they didn't want to do it at all. It just wasn't politically comfortable for them. But even now, the the school thing is, it's it's specifically schools, it's not universities, it's schools. Um, that's too much of a hot potato for them. They can't, you know, they can't bring themselves to do it. I, I kind of understand. I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, what are parents supposed to do, you know, yeah. If their kids aren't going to school, I can't. Yeah. And they just take time off work. I mean, supposedly they can furlough, but I mean, not everyone's in a position that they can furlough. So exactly, it is a bit of a tough decision. I'd, I'd say, look, if your kid can can furlough, uh, I'm sorry, if you can furlough, maybe your kid should not go to school. Yeah. And maybe do some kind of online lessons or something like that. Yeah. So you know the the, the ones that can stay at home and the ones that can't have to go to school yeah <laughs> there's, there's a problem there <laughs> you get a lot of kids just staying at home on their own not telling their parents <laughs> well no I mean I'm sure the school you tell the school whether you're furloughed or not and mm. then if the kid doesn't turn up then the, the school goes around and knocks the door and says look where the hell are you you're supposed to be at school yeah that can still go on yeah yeah but we're not equipped for this. That's the problem, isn't it? We're equipped well, for everyone goes to work out yeah, all the time. Yeah, I mean, we've had six odd months now, seven months, is it, or something like that, to yeah to get used to this kind of scenario. Um, Nothing's changed. Nothing <laughs> seems to be changed. Well, yeah. Changing. Yeah. So proper lockdown for a month at least. Do you think it will end in in the beginning of December? I don't know. It's not. I mean, if it's a proper lockdown and it's treated as seriously as the first time, um, then I think it probably it'll probably go from the lockdown to the tiered system. Yes. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I can't see people taking it that seriously the second time. Because to start off with, the start of the lockdown was when it was generally taken more seriously, and when they started muddying the waters, yeah, go to work, don't go to work, and all that. We have had a lot of muddying of the waters. Yeah, and now people are fed up, and etc. I'm um, fed up. Yeah, I've got to admit, but I mean, it's people believe conspiracy theories. Oh, no, I know. I'm really surprised you know conspiracy theories going around. So well, I had a conversation with Pat yesterday. Yeah. And it wasn't coming from him, but he was saying because he's obviously talking to other people, and and they were whoever was talking to him. I think I know who it was, but and there, there is a definite conspiracy theory bent to their view on the world. And it was sort of like, well, normally we have this many flu deaths in a year. If, yeah. Right. How do we know these aren't all flu deaths, sort of thing? If you take them out, then there's only a few thousand COVID deaths, and it's sort of like, wow. Well, yeah, they're, they're trying. They're, so that, that is part of it, isn't it? Trying to argue that ah, but they didn't really die of COVID. They might have died, but it was yeah. it was from something else. Definitely, I don't want. To... Yeah, so you get you get the full range, don't you? From it doesn't exist. It's a it's a sinister plot. To yeah. Put microchips in everyone. Something to do with five G and Bill Gates. Yeah. Uh, to oh, it's not really as bad as they make out. Blah blah blah. They're pretending it's worse to. Yeah, it's crash like, the economy. What is the motivation? <laughs> <laughs> it's like flat Earth, isn't it? What. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but the problem is, the pe- people. There are a lot of people who are wired to to not believe anything, and to go online and see crap, and to go online and make their own crap. And it does feel so like anything the big, internet and social media has tapped into something that wasn't that the, the mechanisms weren't in place for it to become so widespread. So yeah, I mean, there was al- there's always been conspiracy theorists. But I think the susceptibility to that type of thinking is a lot more widespread yeah. than you probably anticipate. It just needs exposure to the right type of things. Yeah, right type of person. It's, to get, it's the desire to, to believe it is the problem. 
that, that I think everyone's I, I think everyone's susceptible to um, to fall into a conspiracy theory. I mean, sure. I, I find I personally I think it's a very similar mindset to sort of, sort of like court members. Well, it's the same thing. Isn't um, it? Yeah. So were, I, I watched a thing with a guy who actually went rare and he was paid by people whose family members have gone into courts mm-hmm. to get these people out. Right. Yeah. And he said, even though he knew he was going into a, into a court setting, and he knew it was all bull crap, he had to prepare himself mentally yeah. to actually go in there because it's so strong. Yeah. Your yeah. brain is actually sort of like pre-wired to do that. Yeah, to to be drawn to it and believe it. And yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So it's quite scary, really, when you know every potentially everyone, if they're unwittingly exposed to an idea yeah. that is actually just a conspiracy theory yeah. uh, there's a there's a good chance that it will have, have some effect on your thinking yeah and I think a lot not all of them but a lot of those people they really believe it you yeah. know oh, the, the, absolutely. there's going to be grey areas where there's there's people who they kind of want to believe it and they'll be saying well maybe you know what you can't prove it you know there's that kind of thing as well you know whether they, they like it they enjoy it because i enjoy it i love watching the trashiest alien conspiracy garbage docu- documentaries you know um in in small quantities <laughs> i quite enjoy them um i'm laughing completely at them but i really enjoy it and that's the thing really that's the the the, the bit that drags you in first that it's exciting and you know <laughs> And then, obviously, it's, it's... I mean, it really is like backwards messaging, isn't it? And it's, par- it's pareidolia. It's it's people spotting patterns and the desire to see yeah, patterns when there aren't any. If you ever, if you ever watch... Um, so, Joe Rogan interviewed Alex Jones this week. Is it Alex Jones? Don't it's me. The, 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 the fat guy. Is that, that's his name, isn't it? Um, T- Tubby guy. Very, very yeah. pink-faced, angry man. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking isn't this, isn't that girl on the one show called Alex Jones or something like that? But uh, yes. Alex Jones, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's uh, a conspiracy. It's him, and it is sort of like you you can see how how it works, sort of thing. He's picking stuff from here, he's picking stuff from here, and he's he's creating links, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Joe Rogan says there's so much stuff you've told me that is actually true that turns out to be true. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know this. Um, who was the guy who died in prison? Well, oh, uh, Epstein. This, uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Sec- Say again? Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, yeah, the Epstein. Apparently he told Joe Rogan about the Epstein thing years and years and years ago sort of thing. Right, yeah, which was true. Um, yeah, but that's that's the thing ev- everybody knew. True. That's yeah. the most dangerous thing if, you know, yeah, and, well, it's and when it's the major- All of that and Jimmy Savile and, and uh, you know, the, all those guys... Um, yeah, it's so wacky that most people don't believe it, but that that gives credence to everything else they say. Yeah. So they started having a conversation about um, global warming, and I, I I had to turn it off after about half an hour because it was sort of like it was so. Story. Joe Rogan's an interesting character. Yeah, he has um, he has a, he has a propensity towards um, conspiracy theories, but he's actually a. He's very good at debunking someone in front of him in not a um, confrontational way. That's he, good. You know, he's very good at getting to the pertinent question, which is quite strange. You don't expect it from him. But more often than not, he will. someone will say something, he'll go, hang on, hang on, hang on. And he'll ask an extremely pertinent question. Right, yeah, yeah. And he was going, we've got to slow you down, Alex, because you say a lot of stuff, and then you get in trouble when we don't we don't fact check it sort yeah. of thing. So we've got to we've got to take it one step at a time because he starts going off. Yeah, that, that's how it works. About though, isn't it? Global global warming. Then he goes off on about a complete tangent sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. But he he came out and he says it's a big it's a big swizz because coal cleans Burnley now. Yeah, you get this coal that's so clean that only uh, water and CO two come out of it. It's carbon monoxide. Everyone's worried about. Um, but this coal is so clean; it only uh, it releases water and carbon dioxide. I'm like, what? Carbon dioxide? Is yeah. Sure? So carbon dioxide okay. is is the you know main contributor to, to global warming sort of thing. Yeah. And he says, well, that's good. Global warming is good. You know, the, the biggest amount of carbon dioxide was before humans even existed, and there was 
giant crocodiles and the whole world was like a massive uh, ma massive trees and stuff like that and plants because they're sucking up all this carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is good sort of thing <laughs> And you, uh, yeah. At that point, I just thought, okay, this this conversation is going nowhere. Exactly, there's nothing you can do because if you you can just pick random things out of history and pa random facts out of context yeah. and just put them together, and you can make anything you like. Yeah. There's, there's no train of thought. There's no logical. There is nothing you can do. No. So yeah, uh, conspiracy theories are interesting. I I have no interest in debating someone. No, there's no point. It, 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 it is it is pointless. Yeah, it is worthless. Yeah, it totally because they're they're um, they're down the rabbit hole, so, aren't they? It's, their, their brain so, is wired differently. There's nothing you can do. 